And so here we are. We have finally returned to the birthplace of my love and passion for fishing in the outdoors. I cannot wait to show you guys what this place has to offer. weather is perfect I apologize about any of the cars that might be whizzing by right now um, right by where a lot of cars by and a lot of traffic so we finally made it I am uh, so glad to be here this is literally the birthplace of my love for fish and just marine biology uh, when I was growing up this is one of the reasons why I wanted to pursue my passion in marine biology it was just because of seeing all the fish being caught here and seeing all the different species of fish that were in this area and it's just something amazing to see and now to finally be back here since however long I can imagine, it's truly insane. It's truly insane to uh, to be back here finally, and I can't wait to get a wet a line. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to do that today. As you can see, the sun is just setting beyond the horizon, and I'm here with my brother. He's going to be doing some fishing with me as well. Hopefully, he'll get on some fish as well. Um, I'm not sure. All I know is that I'm going to be fishing every single day, every single hour I possibly can, going out early morning through late evening through even nighttime. Uh, the possible species of, of fish we could catch here are sharks, uh, bluefish, tarpon, maybe, no, probably not tarpon, snook, and jacks, and barracuda. Those are like the main species. The main, If I had to choose a main species, I'd definitely choose jacks. That, that's definitely like my bucket list fish, or it's been a bucket list fish of mine for quite some time now. So I just want to thank you guys so much for joining along with me on this series. It's going to be awesome. Uh, I really can't wait to show you guys what's going to happen. And uh, yeah, it just feels good to be back down here in the south, back down in Florida, doing some saltwater fishing. I haven't done saltwater fishing in quite some time, and I just got a really good feeling about this series, and hopefully we can get on a bite. All starts tomorrow morning. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning at real bright in the morning. Uh, gonna be motivated to get out and uh, throw some poppers around. I'm really excited about that, so. Oh wait, also, I forgot. I completely forgot. We just, since we got off the plane, we have to check to see if any of our gear is broken, so I hope not, so let's check that real quick and see how we're doing. Hopefully our gear isn't all destroyed. All right, moment of truth. Hopefully the traffic starts to die down because uh, it is really loud right now. Moment of truth, let us hope that nothing is broken. We're good. Everything is uh, still alive, still kicking. I'll catch you guys tomorrow morning. I'm going to do some bringing up now and probably get something to eat. And, uh, yeah, it just feels amazing to be back down here. Uh, like I said, going to rig up here. And uh, it all starts tomorrow morning with this action. So stick with and uh, see you guys tomorrow morning. All right. Well, here we go. Oh, wow. That water is not as warm as I thought it would be. But these are going to be my very first casts of the trip. I'm going to get way out there because it's pretty shallow over here. fish on here. Yeah, we got a fish on. I think. Felt like one. It felt like we had a fish on for a second. Yeah, we got a fish. Yep, fish on. Oh, he might have came off. No, he's still on. We got a fish on. Hell yeah. It's probably a whiting. Maybe a pump enough. What do we 
these guys. Man, it's actually fighting not... It's not fighting that light, to be honest. I'll be 100% honest, it's actually... What we got? Is that a freaking catfish? Oh my god, I got a catfish. What the hell? Well, new species on the board, I guess, but I'll be honest, I didn't know there were catfish here. Wow. Well, our first species of the trip, of course, I live in North Carolina, which is one of the best, if not the best catfishing uh, state in, in the entire country. And of course, I come here to catch some, some crazy saltwater species, and then I end up catching a catfish of my own. How ironic is that? Every time I go to a uh, on a trip to try and find a, a really cool fish. I always catch the lamest fish in the in the pond or in the ocean in this case. So let's let this little guy go. See you later, buddy. I think. Yeah, we got a fish. Fish number two of the trip, boys and girls. Girl, girl, watching this. What's up? All right, let's see what we got here. Ah, there we go. Fish on. Probably another catfish. That's what it's feeling like. It feels exactly like the last one. Come on, no catfish. Please, no catfish. No catfish. No catfish, please. Oh, it's another catfish. Oh my god. I freaking love Florida, man. That right there is our second species of the... I take it back, never mind. It's our second fish of the trip, not our second species. Another freaking catfish. species of the trip that right there is a whiting we'll dig a little hole for him I'm gonna use him as bait later on so this guy's gonna make for some good bait okay all right big bait catches big fish here we go. That's about as far as I'm getting it. That's a big fish too. Because that's what it's been the whole time. Whatever this is, it, this is big. It might be a ray. I think it might be a ray. Or a shark. Pretty close. Don't touch the line. Don't touch the line. I'm gonna use the waves. Use the wave now. God. Now you're on 
camera duty. Get the camera. Woo! Alright, it's done. Let's get this guy back in the water. You got a good shot? That was by far the hardest fish to hook, land, and get back in the water, but he went, we got him deep enough. That right there is the first giant fish of the trip. I'm gonna get this camera back in my hands. I'll catch up with you guys. Woo! First fish, first big fish of the trip, a freaking awesome nurse shark. This place right here, Florida, this is where I grew my love for sharks and fish just in general and it's just 17 years later come over here again and hook the fish of my dreams and my favorite fish on planet earth that being sharks just any shark in general i love them all on cut bait right here the rig got it done that right there is the first giant of the trip i think that might have been my biggest fish ever i'm not sure i hope i got a cool shot of it i really do but uh yeah that was so epic by far the most exhausting fish to catch record and release of my entire life he got back out there safe though the fish's priority was safety that's number one i always want this fish to be healthy especially with the fact that it was a shark you want to make sure they get out and stay alive and uh, stay healthy so had him out of the water for a limited amount of time just to make sure he was safe and uh yeah first official giant of the trip i hope you guys are enjoying just as much as i am super super happy and great that fish man let's get back out there Let him eat it. He's got it. Fish on. Fish on. Another big one. Another big one. Another big one. It's in there. Shakes. Big head shakes. Uh, flick that to the left. Or no, 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 it's already flicked. Yeah, so then just press press the, yeah. And then the screen will pop up. And then you start filming. Yeah, I'm good. Okay. Well, I casted my line right back out. I tried to get a cosmic brownie to eat. We're hooked up again. It feels just about the same weight i have no idea what type of fish it could be because i just don't know we're not to my second raid yet so he's pretty far out there still this is going to be a long fight he's definitely a heavy fish i'm gonna start walking down the beach so man this is a heavy fish there he goes 